All right, so we have an AC outside coil and an Amana furnace. And we're gonna go through the steps on performing the maintenance. All right, so first we're gonna take the door off. And you wanna kill your power. And the first thing you need to do is just visually inspect the whole system. Just look around, see what's, um, see what everything's looking like, what condition it's in. And I like to keep a, a mastic brush um, in my bag. And I'll, usually first thing, I'll just sort of, you know, wipe everything down, dust everything off. Next, you want to go ahead and replace your filter. I've already done that. All right, and then we'll go to the flame sensor next. So on this one, this is a, uh, a Manor Goodman. The flame sensor is up top. It's not too hard to get to, but you probably will need to use a stubby nut driver because your, your regular nut driver is gonna end up hitting this inducer housing right here. All right, so after you've got it off, you want to go ahead and Get all that carbon build up off your flame sensor, get it sanded off. All right. And we'll go ahead and put it back in its place. And don't forget your, your wire back on the top uh, before you go to the next step. Okay, <clears throat> after that's done, the next thing you want to do is go to your, your pressure switch. And where it connects to the inducer housing, you want to pull that tube off and clear this port right here. Um, it's a pretty common call during the winter that the ports get clogged up with different debris from inside the uh, um, the vent pipe will come back down into the inducer housing and blow up into that port. So you just want to take this tube off and get you what I have. I have a wire. I like to use a wire and just get one end of it. Stick it down in there, go up and down a few times. And that'll make sure that any debris or anything that could uh, possibly get clogged is pushed out. Then reattach. All right, next thing you wanna do is check your um, the fan capacitor. So on this system, it'll be right up here. Um, a lot of times the capacitor will be attached down to the bottom of the blower housing right here. Sometimes it's over on the side of the blower housing. So you just find wherever that capacitor is and take it off and then test it. And sometimes you won't have to take it off. If you can see around the side um, what size capacitor it is, you won't have to take it off. So then you just want to check your capacitor. And if you don't know how to check capacitors, um, I also have a video explaining how to do that. And always double check that you plug your capacitor back in. If you forget it, put the door on and run it, you will cause significant damage. Um, there was a guy I knew that uh, forgot to plug his in. <clears throat> the blower quit running and the furnace kept running and it ended up melting the coal drain pan. So it's definitely um, something you need to remember to double check because it's very easy to forget about. Next, you want to get your fan switch uh, taped in so you can have access to inside the, uh, the panel while the equipment is running. So, got that pushed in. Next, get your meter, go to uh, amps. And then we're gonna look for the wire that's coming off that says heat. So 
that'll be my blue wire. Alright, so we're all set up with the clamp. We're ready to turn our power back on. Alright, so we're back running now. Everything, everything fired up good. Checking the amps on this floor motor. And we're right at where we need to be. It'll say if you look on your door or sometimes on the motor, it'll show what the max amp should be or what it should be running. So just double check that to make sure because sometimes they do vary. Okay, next we're going to check the uh, inducer motor and make sure it's not over amping. Zero point four, and on all the inducers. It'll show on the top up here. Get it to zoom in. Zero point four zero is what it says, so it's right on the money. And then before you finish up, you want to just look at your igniter and make sure you don't have any um, any white marks on it. Make sure you don't have any white marks on it. This one looks pretty good. And also before you're done, you also want to just go over the, the vent pipe from where it connects where it go, to where it goes out the roof. Uh, make sure there's no breaks in the line, in the pipe, um, and just make sure everything looks good. Like That uh, could be a little concerning. I could speak with them about that if you wanted to get pretty picky, but you just want to, if you see rust like that, you want to get a screwdriver or something poke on it make sure it's not soft and this one isn't so it should probably be pretty good for today all right so that's pretty much everything you do uh, during a winter maintenance that's just for heat so um, <clears throat> in the next couple months we'll be making another video about the summer maintenance but that's all you really got to do um, the important things to do during a maintenance for winter